Hello and welcome to the Switches and Multiplexers series on basics of analog signal switches offered by Texas Instruments. In this video, we will have a short discussion on what to do with unused pins of your switch or multiplexer. We will address what to do with the following potentially unused pins, such as control pins, signal pins, VSS supply pin, no connect pins, and thermal pads. Control logic inputs should always have a defined state. If any logic pins, such as enable, select, address, or inhibit pins, are determined to be unneeded or unused, it is important to make sure that the control pin has a defined state, high or low, depending on the device's logic thresholds, to ensure proper function of the device. If a control pin is left at an undefined state, this may cause unexpected function of the device or excess current consumption. A simple way to ensure a defined logic state at a control input is to tie the pin to VDD or ground. The resistors and the diagram are optional. Some switches include a feature with integrated pull-down or pull-up resistors. The data sheet will indicate if a device includes this feature in the electrical characteristics section with the internal resistor value. These devices ensure that the control input never has an undefined state. In this case only, the logic inputs may have no external connection, potentially saving system size and cost. If the data sheet does not specify that the device has integrated pull-up or pull-down resistors on the logic inputs, the logic pins must be pulled up or down externally to ensure a defined state. Unused signal pins, source and drain pins, may be left floating or not externally connected if unused. In high-speed applications, best practice is to terminate unused signal pins to ground, commonly with a 50 ohm resistor. Some switches support dual rail capability. If the negative supply rail, VSS, is not needed, meaning negative voltage switching is not needed, VSS should always be externally tied to ground. Some packages have pins labeled no connect or NC. These pins are not internally electrically connected and may be left floating, meaning no external connections are necessary. Some packages, such as QFNs, have a thermal pad. The data sheet may recommend that the thermal pad be electrically connected to ground or VSS. If the data sheet does not recommend a connection, the thermal pad may be left electrically floating. Thank you for watching this Switches and Multiplexers TI Precision Labs video about what to do with unused pens. To learn more about floating inputs, take a look at this app note, Implications of Slow or Floating CMOS Inputs. To find more switches and multiplexers, technical resources, and search products, visit ti.com switches.